Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante. We're live in Irvine, California. HP's Services Transformation event. We're here with theCUBE. SiliconAngle.com and ServicesAngle.com's first event around services. Uh, this is live, theCUBE, where we bring you all the smart guests, the great information. We share it with our community. Thanks for watching. And we are here to talk about new ways in which IT professionals want to interact with their support provider. You know, it used to be you'd pick up a phone, you'd call an 800 number, that's changing. Uh, the world is using social media, chat, forum, email, text, a lot of different touch points, which increases the complexity from a service provider standpoint, but it dramatically changes the user experience. And we're here with Tommaso Esmanek, who is the Director of Automation Strategies for the support line of business for HP. Uh, Tommaso, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you so much, thank you for having me here. Yeah, good to see you. Um, so, you heard my introduction here, people want to interact in a different way. Yes. Um, and I want to hear more about, we, we've heard Gen 8, we were at the Project Voyager announcement, we've heard about proactive care, um, I understand you have a demo, you want to talk about that a little bit, but how real is this? I mean, can customers actually do this today? So what, what was happening before, we had different pieces set apart. With products and services coming together, building new services with the announcements of the proactive care, data center care, we are basically bringing it all together in one single experience for the customers, the partners, and our HP employees. So what I would like to turn is show you the demo and I'll explain how the different use cases and the experience of the customer, how is everything is changing. Okay. So what you need to imagine in this scenario that we have a customer, a site that has a lightning storm. When there is a lightning storm, automatically this system will generate the error and the error will, first of all, be notified to the customer online through his mobile device. From the mobile device, he can also follow up through HP Support Center where the entire experience of HP is uh, um, basically is one-stop shop across products and uh, across services. When the customer uh, logs on to HP Support Center... So this is, so this is the login screen, yes. right? That we're seeing here, okay. Yes. This is the log login screen. And automatically, the new tab called Insight Online My IT Environment is available for all the systems that are monitored by HP. When the customer clicks on log on, Insight Online becomes activated. One of the things I want to draw your attention, and it's rendering a little bit slower on, online, yeah. the, the, we change the experience from being, a, what I say, a hyperlink website with tons of links everywhere. Yeah, where do I go? And then when I go, I yeah. leave. Yes. I go there to find something, and the next thing I know, I'm somewhere else. Correct. <laughs> like Wikipedia. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> what we are doing is we transform into an application-based website where you have a easy-to-navigate dashboard through, for example, traffic lights, colors, highly integrated together, so you don't have to log in again to find out what is the next tool, but all the experience is highly interactive. So in some way you're predicting where I want to go as a user and you're providing a, a guidance system. A, gui so a guidance system, that that's correct. And the, each one of the elements brings you together to the element before in case you think, oh gee, I took the wrong road or I didn't want to go there. Okay, so, so very easy to just go right back. Yes. Fast. Yes. I'm not watching a spinning logo. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Speed and performance no one of the key elements. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let me show you. For example, we have a, a section to track the events. You can sort them, search them by event, by product. You can go into a problem description. And one of the things that really happens, you can uh, hover over the information without having to click and down click. Immediate information, so access without having to navigate the entire website. The so it's a it's a it's it's a it's not a pop up, but it's some kind it's a, it's of. It's called a, a hovering. It's a hovering. Okay. Yes. And so what? But hovering brings certain information up very quickly. Yes. Right. Correct. Um, okay. So the other thing that we have done. So we saw before the event being generated. Uh, what we have linked together is the customers' events and situation going on into the environment with our case management capabilities which means it's highly integrated. Automatically call is open into the HP workflow. HP takes uh, actions on that. For example, it would uh, open a case, it would order a part without uh, anybody touching the case. 
and without anybody having to call a phone and say, I have a problem with my power supply, for example, because of the event we were looking before. The other thing that happens, we have integrated also with video and help guides to help the customer through the experience in, for example, in this case, if he has to go and replace a video. And it is here, it will play later a video with uh, the replacement of a part. So this is a how-to It's a how-to video right. that is like from the HP library, but the important thing is integrated with the error that was generated. Right, right, so I don't have to search for it, find, click on it, see yes. which one is which. It's, yes, it's, it's contextually knowledge, has contextual knowledge of the yes. error problem. Yes. That have. Okay. The experience that we are designing is personalized, contextual, and relevant. Uh -huh. So it's not anymore just a standard navigation. Other elements that we bring into the new experience is the ability to review what is the hardware that we are basically looking at or see the entire environment. You can see the configuration of the environment and how it's actually uh, set up, how many hard disks are being used, what is the performance of those devices. And last but not least, one of the things we hear customers and partners tell us, I have thousands of devices. I don't know what is the status of the warranty, the contract, and the obligation with HP. And what we have created, an automatic link and connection between the devices that are remotely monitored with our entitlement system, so when the customer clicks on a warranty and contract, he can automatically see the status of the warranty and contract. But even more, what we recognize is that customers don't remember the serial number, don't remember their contract, HP contract ID. They may have a different uh, description for themselves. Server in Palo Alto, number one. Uh, location, uh, uh, Roseville or any other, or Los Angeles uh, data center. So what we give the opportunity to the customer to rename and put a more a nickname, familiar name to them, to that contract, the warranty or the care pack to make it easier to navigate the entire experience. Yes, okay, so then that gives you line of sight on their parlance. Yes. And then you can communicate in their terms, not your terms, which is a serial number and nobody, yeah. you have to go look it up or look in the box or yes. whatever it is. It's yes. a real pain. I always hate that when somebody says, okay, what's your serial number? Uh, I don't know, it's upside De down. Definitely. You do a handstand to find it. Definitely, so it, they put this entire experience. Well, in uh, this release, we have uh, a web-based uh, capability that runs, uh, can run on basically any of the standard browsers that we have today. It runs also off uh, an iPad, touchpad, uh, or Android device. Mm -hmm. We also have developed, and I hope uh, we can see it correctly here, a mobile application for internet, uh, internet a, little higher. a little higher. Yeah, that's good. Down lower, sorry. Okay, perfect. All right, good. There you go. So we, we have uh, uh, created a mobile application called HP Super Center. It was actually deployed in uh, July this year, and it, was the, it is the first mobile application really built for support. Um, and this is in the first mobile application in the industry. The customer can manage a list of products, and he can add an infinite list of products. He can uh, find out directly from an application the obligation if it's warranty contract and what type of uh, contract it is. He can search knowledge and go through documents and save these documents for future references. And he can see all the uh, type of, again, we have here as an example, three part products, the L380, I have a pavilion, elite notebook. So the entire HP product line is in one stop shop location without having the customer to navigate multiple websites or multiple applications for finding the solution. So how, so how would it work in the old world? You're saying the, uh, they'd have to go to different product portals? They, they different contracts? Yeah, or? yeah I, I give you the example of uh, some of our competitors. You may have a competitor that has, uh, gives you only the servers. Another one that gives you the desktops. What we have with HP is an integrated solution where we can really service the entire environment. And because we are one company, we are able to give you one-stop shop experience where you don't have to navigate the entire you know, support nightmare. So, for example, uh, with Proactive Care, I believe you support uh, not only HP uh, uh, hardware and software, but also uh, 
certain ISVs, Microsoft, uh, Linux, which presumably would be Red Hat, and uh, VMware, I think. Yes, we do. Would that be part of this portal as yes. well? Yes. All everything that we are able to support through proactive care, and we promise to our customer, will be part of our connect connectivity. And I get now, so I get access to this as a proactive care customer, or what do you, I have to do to get it? Uh, the the portal itself is uh, available. Um, for free. The Insight Online, you need to have what we call Insight Remote Support mm -hmm. or a Gen 8 uh, capability, Gen 8 box. Uh, and through there, you're able to utilize the portal and uh, all its features. Of course, when uh, the warranty is expired or you don't have that contract is expired, only some functionality will be available to the user. Okay, so, so Gen 8 is a native. Yes. Um, uh, uh, capability. Yes, it is. And, and if I don't have Gen 8, then you collect the data in through, another fashion through agents? Or well, we use a, a capability called Insight Remote Support yeah. that functions as an aggregator of information through an agent yeah. in the customer's environment. And that is the gateway into the HP backend to start populating Insight Online. Okay, so now, so either way, whether it's you know embedded in Gen 8 or not, I can get a full picture as long as I'm an Insight. Yes, uh, yes, okay. that's correct. Okay, good. Uh, the, the last piece that I just want to draw your attention is, uh, we also have, and Michelle talked about, about chat, dynamic chat. I won't show it uh, for, but our capability can run on a, any mobile device. So I imagine a customer that has a question, probably outside his, um, um, is working through a problem or finding a solution, and he wants to talk to an HP engineer. He can do it moving with the chat wherever he has to go in the data center and see what is going on without having to be on his desk and talk to HP. So we have an integrated chat capability that runs live on any internet mobile device. So let me ask you a question. So you're obviously seeing more customers uh, interact through chat, correct? Yes. And correct. a lot of people don't want to pick up the phone. I know when I'm interacting in chat with, um, I won't name a name, but some kind of consumer provider, yes. consumer service provider. I know on the other end that that person, because they're trying to drive their cost down, is chatting with three or four other people yes. simultaneously. That's correct. Do, you, do you do the same? I mean, you, know, you have people that are capable of chatting with multiple people, or do you not allow that, or how do you handle it? So the, uh, definitely the chat drives that uh, behavior what we have we have some strict standards on uh, uh, responsivenness huh? of the of the, the HP specialist yep. so uh, we have a far less number of land that will able to happen so I mean, our response time is far higher than what the industry has Great. It's in, in, uh, can you give us a sense as to what percent of the interactions are chat is it single digit is it growing much larger uh, than that? No, the, the chat volume against phone has been increasing about 20 to 30 percent every year, yeah. and it's in, in double digit uh, um, yeah. compared to the entire volume, double digits. Double digits. In yes, the, in the it's zone. really wow. it's really big. And the other thing is we do it worldwide. So English, I mean Italian, German, French, uh, Chinese, Japanese. So we really cover all of the same product, the same language that we cover on the phone. We cover them in the chat experience. Okay, and and well, that's interesting. So you localize the chat experience, Correct. and you localize that locally, or you localize that globally. In other words, do you have to? What, what are you finding when you actually deploy? Can you can you have a support center in the United States, for example, supporting chat in South America? Or vice versa. Uh, so let or me. Do you go local, local, local. So uh, we we have it's part of our um, uh, global support center strategy, yeah. and uh, we have a kind of a mixed model. Uh, in some cases, we do have a uh, off offshore, near shore, or local center for supporting the languages. Mm -hmm. In other cases, because of uh, the scale and the support and the need of the market we would have a local center specifically working on the language. For example, Italian is in Italy. Great, good, good, good. So, okay, um, okay. anything else you want to show us on the portal? No, well, I think we think we're fine. Okay, so, what do you, so we, obviously we've seen the support uh, interaction, the support uh, uh, tools change from yes. really phone, mm -hmm. call us, yes. you know, that's it, one channel, uh, to all these multiple channels. Um, when you begin to initiate these multiple channels, you start to collect more data. 
Correct. on customers. What do you do with all that data? There is a, that data is really the big value that it brings uh, to, to HP and to the customers. There are two things. One is the value to the customer because we are more proactive in uh, resolving his uh, problems and being there on time for him. The second thing is it enriches our ability to build better products. So what we have defined working with, a product, with our product divisions is a process to have that data pass on and understand how the products are performing and then generate and design products that meet the customer needs. Okay, so um, where are you at in terms of oh, we are, that, that data? We are, we are in very, very good state. We, have a, we collect tons of terabytes already today and that data has been feeding uh, not only the support processes, but also the product divisions. And uh, some of the latest products are definitely showing that. Truckloads of terabytes. Is there's of more terabytes. data about the data than there is data, isn't there? Yes, it days? is. <laughs> Excellent. Where are you from, by the way? I'm from Fresno. You're from Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's good, touche. Uh, well, Tommaso, thank you very much for coming inside theCUBE, sharing that demo. Um, love to have you back on, hear more about the progress, and uh, this, the, really good to see the, these transformations taking place in, in real time. This is available today, by the way, right? Yeah, the uh, mobile application is available today to okay. download from the, um, any app store, from Android, iPhone, and uh, WebOS. And, What's uh, the app called? Uh, HP Super Center. Okay. And uh, the My IT environment is deploying in 15 days um, in with a Gen 8 launch, product launch. Great, congratulations. So you uh, you uh, wish you best of luck with this, and uh, thanks very much thank for coming on theCUBE. Thank you so much. Thank All you right, for having me here.